Hello friends. Today, we are learning on topic. Interdependence of living things. All living beings, including plants and animals, rely on non-living things like water, sunlight, and air for their survival. But that's not all, they also need to interact with each other to stay alive. This connection between living things and their environment is called interdependence. It shows how everything in nature is linked together. Let's understand this simple example. Plants use sunlight to make their own food. Animals like caterpillars eat plants, snake eat the caterpillar and owl may eat snakes. Each living things depend on plants either directly or indirectly for food and energy is called food chain. Food chain divide in three main parts, producer consumer decomposer. 1. Producer. With the help of photosynthesis process plants make their food hence plants are called producer. 2. Consumer. Living things who directly or indirectly depend on plant for food are called consumer i.e. herbivores as well as carnivores. 3. Decomposer. When plants and animal die earthworms add microorganisms break down or decompose them and return nutrients to the soil this helps new plants to grow these microorganisms are called decomposer. That's how energy flows from one to another in nature. The chain of eating and bring eaten is called food chain. And when many food chains connect together they form food web. Some consumer may not eat same type of food they can eat different type of food for example. Rabbit can eat grass and plants but wild cat, tiger, lion like big animal eat rabbit or other small animal. On other hand animal like deer eat only grass this causes interlinking of various food chains into food web. The balance in nature is very important. It means there is a healthy connection between living things like humans, animals, and plants, and the non-living things around them, like air, water, and sunlight. Humans play a big role in maintaining this balance. We help protect natural places like forests, where many living things depend on each other to survive. For example, if the number of rabbits in a forest goes down, animals like jackals and wild cats who eat them will struggle to find food. And if all the grass and plants are gone, the plant-eating animals, like deer and rabbits, will also have no food. They may die or leave the forest. This is why we must protect forests. They help keep balance in nature, where every living thing gets what it needs to live. When there are just enough plants, animals, and people to keep everything working smoothly, we say there is balance in nature. Plants and animals, they truly depend on each other. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and, with the help of sunlight, prepare their own food through a process called photosynthesis. In return, they give us something precious, oxygen, the very air we breathe. We, humans and animals, take in this oxygen during respiration, and breathe out carbon dioxide. That same carbon dioxide goes back to the plants. Isn't it amazing, this beautiful cycle helps maintain balance in nature. Yes, plants and animals need each other to survive. It's a wonderful interdependence that keeps life going. Plants and animals depend on each other in many ways. Bees help flowers to grow. Earthworms make the soil healthy. Even animal waste helps plants grow. Besides the oxygen carbon dioxide cycle, there are many other beautiful ways in which plants and animals depend on each other. Animals depend on plants for food. And plants also get their nutrients from the remains of dead animals, helping them to grow. Plants need animals for pollination and for spreading their seeds far from the parent plant, so they can grow strong and healthy. Even animal waste plays a role, it is used as fertilizer. For example, cow dung enriches the soil with nutrients for the plants. Earthworms eat leaves, grass, and waste, and leave behind something wonderful, a valuable substance called castings, which is a natural fertilizer. To maintain balance in nature, this interdependence between plants and animals is essential. And the best place to see this harmony, the forest, where life works together in perfect rhythm. Thank for watching. See you in the next video, only on Let's Learn with MG. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.